welcome back. So today's video is going to be the first video of my bedroom renovations. I decided to make this into like kind of like a mini series and you guys can follow along the way as I'm redoing the entire space along with the closet. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my new headboard slash bed. I actually haven't heard too many people talk about this item that I'm gonna to share today, which is so crazy because all of like my favorite interior designers all use these and I'm just so excited that I found them and can use them in my house and they're affordable. They're completely customizable and it gives you kind of that luxe factor in the house, which of course you guys know I love. So the brand is actually called Vaunt, Vaunt Panels, and basically they're customizable wall panels that make a headboard or like a statement wall. You don't even have to use it just in the bedroom. You could use it in your dining room. I mean, anywhere that you want a statement wall, your office would be really cool. And you can adjust the size to fit your wall or whatever space that you're going to put it in. This is the exact vision that I've had for such a long time. And it just fits my space so perfectly because I have this wall that's not like a full size wall, but it's, it's a pretty big chunk of the room. But just putting a headboard, like a standard headboard there, it really didn't do anything for the space. So now that I have like this statement wall behind my bed, it's just, it's so cool and contemporary. But again, no matter what size your room is or even what your style is, I mean, these are a little bit more contemporary looking in my opinion, but you could definitely add in some traditional elements and make it a little bit more traditional. You could even turn them vertical and use them for like a little banquet in your kitchen area. There's so many possibilities with these. They're removable, so they're great if you live in like an apartment or you know maybe a rental house. Not to mention they come in so many different colors and textures. So if you're someone that likes a more like smooth texture, you can go with something like micro suede, which is what I actually went with, or you can go with something a little bit more textured to add a little bit more texture in the room and dimension. My walls are actually textured, so that's why I went with the micro suede, and then I added texture back in with my throw pillows and my throw blanket that's on my bed. But the textured like basket weave ones are so beautiful too like if I didn't have textured walls I'd be very tempted to do those and then do micro or velvet pillows and they also come in two different sizes they come in a 30 inch and then a 39 inch I actually went with a 39 inch because I just wanted a big like massive statement in the back of my bed and I felt like it was a little less busy by going with three big 39s instead of four 30s but that was just my personal preference they actually have preset like sets that you can buy based on your room or the size of your bed that's on their website so I'll link their website down below and you guys can take a look at it but the one that I have on their website for a queen bed is four of the 30 inch panels but it works out beautifully in my room to do three of the 39s I think it looks really good so I'm really happy that I ended up going with the three 39s just because it does cover the nightstands on the side and I think it just makes it all come together perfectly on that wall you can also mix and match the colors, so you don't have to just get a set of like gray you could do gray and light gray or two different textures or whatever your vibe is for your space also did get the platform bed that they sell as well and I believe that it's a newer item that they offer I just I feel like it's kind of new because it said pre-order on there when I was going to get mine so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like a newer item but I'm so glad that they now offer the platform bed because my old bed like the frame around it just wouldn't have looked as good with the panels and with the platform bed you can also pick the color of it so you can do two different colors which i've seen done and it looks really cool if you, like if you do a textured platform bed and then do like the micro suede um, for your panels. I think that's a really cool look or vice versa. I was super tempted to do that as well. But I think the rug that I'm gonna get is gonna be viscose and it's gonna have like a lot of texture in it. So I decided just to go ahead and do the matchy matchy thing, which I usually don't do, but I think it turned out really good and I'm super happy with it. And these are super easy to install. Honestly, it's three steps. It's so easy, like anyone can do it. It didn't even take us longer than 20 minutes to put the entire thing together. Like it's super simple. And they have a breakdown of the instructions on their website that is so easy to follow so again I'll link the website and everything down below I'm sure you guys can get a lot more information on there as well I love to be able to share things that make your home feel and look luxe but for less you know what I mean I'll be sharing a lot more with my bedroom very soon so make sure you're subscribed if you're not and let's go ahead and jump into the install 
So the first thing that you want to do is measure the wall where you're going to be installing panels. And we created sort of like a template. We used a level and just drew a straight line where the panels will start, where they'll end, and then on the top and the bottom as well, just so that everything was nice and even and we knew exactly where we wanted to put them. And then the next thing you'll do is just attach the brackets to the back of the panels. You'll have two brackets and one connector and then a stopper at the end. You want to make sure you put the stopper at the end so that it stops them from sliding all the way down. And then once you have the first one done, you just want to hold it up to the wall, make sure everything's even and exactly in place where you want it to be. And then you can go ahead and start screwing in the brackets. And this is super simple. It's just three screws and you're done. And then you just want to take the level again, or we did anyways, and just made sure everything was a level as we went along. And then the last step is just to snap and click them into place. So it's literally snap, 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 push down, and you're done. If you thought the first part was easy, this part is a piece of cake for you then. So what you'll do is just line up all four panels and then you'll insert the pins that came with it. And there will be four pins on top and then four pins on the bottom. And you just push them in really firmly to make sure that they are locked in place and aren't going to move. And then you just wanna make sure that they're all facing upward. You actually should have done this at the beginning. As long as the arrows are pointed up, then you are good to go because next, you're going to be putting in the middle support beam and this just slides right into those two slots and then you're just going to roll out the upholstered slats and what's really cool about this is that they're all measured out evenly for you so you don't have to really put too much thought or effort into it you just roll it out and then you'll overlap them in the middle and there you have your entire bed frame and now for the part i'm sure you've been waiting for this is what it looks like you guys i am so happy with how it turned out i know i rambled on a little bit at the beginning but i just wanted to give you guys as much information as possible about these because i haven't really heard anyone talk about them and i just feel like they're so versatile they give a really cool look you can literally use them in every single room so let me know what you guys thought about this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it also let me know in the comments below if you would use these in your house or what you think about them and I will hopefully see you guys very shortly in my next video.